the Young Friends of Queen Mary's Hospital for Children. Queen Mary's is a hospital that catered mainly for disabled children with two acute paediatric wards and an operating theatre. I found out about the Young Friends of Queen Mary's Hospital for Children through a circular to all the local young people's groups and schools sent by the League of Friends. I went along to see what it was all about and became a member of the committee in 1969, shortly after it started. That year it became a registered charity. On the committee at the same time were Jeff Chant, the chairman, Michael Lewis, the treasurer, and Helen Parnell. Our meetings were held in the boardroom of the hospital, and I'm sure the main reason many of us joined was the chance to meet members of the opposite sex. That summer, we entered a float in Cushorton Carnival and received second prize. Len Sandal, who belonged to the League of Friends, suggested we took part and lent us a flatbed lorry. Linda Bratt, a member but not on the committee, came up with the inspired theme, A Spoonful of Sugar Helps the Medicine Go Down, borrowed from the Mary Poppins film. At Christmas, we collected for the hospital in Sutton High Street. It was very cold that year and we took it in turns to stand with tins or go to the local cafe and get warm. In the very early 70s, we put on a concert in the hall in the hospital grounds, directed by Jeff Chant. Jenny Barnfather, part of the Short and Pantomime Company, choreographed a can-can routine, and we also performed Mariah Martin, or The Murder in the Red Barn, a popular 19th century melodrama. The show was very well supported. On a Saturday, we all took turns to run the canteen by the main gates. This was very important to the visitors because there was nowhere else for the visitors to get anything to eat or drink. One Saturday, when there were only two of us on, one of the visitors helped us by making the sandwiches. I stayed on the committee of the League of Friends until 1971 when I left to become a nurse.